Hello Rules Reacts here, and welcome to another Blind Commentary. Today I'm going to be reacting to Red vs. Blue Season 3, Episode 14, Have We Met? Um, as, you, as I mentioned before, Episode 12 was split into two parts, but Part 2 was considered to be Episode 13, so that's why this one is Episode 14. So yeah, let's uh, continue and see if Church is able to fix the um, problems he caused with his time-traveling... Um, Escapades. We packed you all lunches for the trip. Thanks, Sheila. That was really nice of you. Not really. All my bag had was an air filter and a thermos full of brake fluid. Make sure to wash your exhaust pipes every day. Bye, Sheila. We'll come back for you soon. I guess that explains why I'll Sheila's acting so differently in this one. Is that church, church did something? I thought you left with Griff. Back already? I hate to tell you this, Sheila, but none of us are coming back. Is there any way I can take you with me? Maybe transfer your programming to a disc or something like that? No, sorry, but I'm hardwired into this equipment. That's what happens when you're built by the lowest bidder. Yeah, tell me about <laughs> it. There's just one more thing you can do for me before I say goodbye. It's the last thing that I can do to hopefully set all this stuff right. What is it? Okay, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get out of here, and I need you to wait on this looking way. All right. Like you got it. Thanks, Sheila. And, uh... Sorry that I blamed you for killing me all this time. That's okay. I'm sorry I enjoyed blowing you up so much. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was necessary to tell me that. Anyway, I guess it's goodbye, Sheila. Okay, Maybe I should so... shut down now and save a little power. Okay, so Sheila shut down. Good to know. So once all that time passed because of the bomb explosion, oh, where did Sheila end up? After I take care of your little friend Tucker, I'll be taking care of her as well. When I get out of here. But you won't. Everyone here is dead now. No one even knows where you are. So I suppose now you'll just have to starve to death. <laughs> Cheerio. Oh, that's how oh, their man, cell got no open. I better let him out of there and then go find Tex. She can shut it off. You should try showering in cell block C. Those guys are animals. All right, here it goes. You open the doors? That wasn't scary at all. What? The? I didn't do that. Somebody on the outside must have done it. All right, let's go. Freedom! It smells so sweet! Let's go rob a liquor store on the way home. All right, now to find Tex. Please Sorry don't about this, the prison. You're following Omega's orders. Naomi, I need you to get in position. Don't forget that Vic fellow is giving us a bonus if we kill Tucker. Would really help fuel the whole conspiracy theory he's made up. Right oh, mate. As the one person here who really does work for Red and Blue, I think what we're doing is despicable. O'Malley, of can you look in your duck. heart and see that maybe if we do this right, that Red an and AI. Blue he can work have together? A heart. Maybe we could end this crazy war. Wouldn't that be great? Come on, guys, let's live the dream. I like the way war's in now. One side is completely dead, and the other side wasting away in nuclear winter. Perhaps nuclear. Oh, shut up. Crying <laughs> in the body of their own hubris. War is also in entreaties. Oh, shut up already. Come in, Tex. I need you to meet me in the middle of the canyon right now. This is church. Uh, I have money. Oh, man, where is she? Hey, hey, buddy, hey. What? Who are you? What? Oh, I'm you. I'm just a different version of you. Yeah, see, I keep trying to fix the bomb, just like you're doing, except I don't do it right and I get blasted back in time. Then I come back and try to fix everything all over again. I just want to let you know, when you get back, meet us at the top of the ramp. Us? Who's us? Back from where? What's going on? Man, this blows. You guys suck. What the hell? Sorry, Private Talker, but I always get my mind. Say goodbye, mate. Uh, guys, I hate to interrupt, but zero seconds. Uh oh. What? Oh, son of a. There goes the explosion. Okay, so the alternate church said us. Does that mean that there's so multiple the versions the of church Peter, now? You gotta send me back. To blood goats. You just left. No, 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 not the blood goats, the sidewinder. Man, I totally screwed everything up. Hello. Well, I didn't keep the bomb from going off, so I just got blasted back here. Yeah, me too. And again. Let me just put it this way, pal. Your next plan? 
goes about as well as the first one does. Why is there a yellow again? Who are you guys? We're you, dumbass. We just keep screwing up and getting flown back to the computer terminal. Then we teleport here to try again. I know that, man. You told me last time. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the new you. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I'm still getting used to all this, dumbass. Hey, shut up. <laughs> I don't know you guys screw up. Well, when Tucker points the rocket launcher at us, There's I tried to explain the situation to everybody. And oddly, Caboose is really the only person that understood it right away. Anyway, by the time I finished answering questions, the bomb went off and I got sent back in time. Right. Then I teleported back to Sidewinder and thought, if I can shoot Wyoming before he shoots Tucker, then I can fix everything. But I shot Wyoming, then Tucker shot me with the rocket launcher, the bomb went off anyway, and I got sent back in time. And then I teleported back and just decided to kill everybody that I could see. Why did you do that? I don't know. It seemed like fun. I think I was stuck <laughs> there for a while. Well, what did you do? Dude, don't ask. Trust me. It, it didn't work. So now we all come back here beforehand to oh, discuss what we did okay. and see if we can collectively figure out a better plan beforehand. I'm going to guess the oh. yellow color well, is not I natural. That. that won't work. Hey, I got it. Who's the last church? Huh? Which one of you is the latest version of me? Um, you I are. I guess that would be me. Oh, uh, I've already tried yeah. all the stuff that all these other guys have done. Even him. So, I guess that makes me the latest version. Well, that must mean you're the one that gets it right, then. What do you mean? Well, if you're the last church, you must be the one that fixes everything. Otherwise, there'd be a thousand other churches here still trying to get it right. I see. Wait. Why am I explaining this to you? If you're the latest church, then you've been me explaining this to you already. Uh, yeah, I know. I just didn't want to steal my own thunder. I thought it was a pretty <laughs> good idea. Thanks, thanks. Okay, well, I'm gonna go do whatever it is that fixes all this. Wish me luck, guys. What are you gonna do? You know what? I'm just gonna go free text and wing it. Because every time I've made a plan, it's fallen apart. I figure, why not just improvise? Okay. So what did you do? Oh, man. Like such a good idea at the time. Church! O'Malley and Wyoming tied me up. Get me out of here! You got it. Wait a second. Would this be a good thing or a bad thing? How is setting me now free? Now he's a going bad to thing? over sure. overthink everything. If I set you free, will you promise not to get close to me? I'm already close to you. No, no, not me, me. The other me, me. The one with the bomb. What? Oh, right. I forgot. I already set text free one of the other times. Oh, sweet. And that means I'm the guy that interrupts me and then confuses Tex. I'm totally confused. Oh, don't worry, Tex. I'm just supposed to tell him that it's okay to set Tex free. It is? Well, that's what I said to me when I was you, and it seemed to work out okay. Seriously? This is really confusing. Okay, you're free, Tex. Now to execute the second part of my plan. I'm gonna possess Lopez and then use his lightning machine to defuse the bomb. See ya. Good luck. Yeah, that's totally not gonna work. Wait. Tex? I recommend you get down there and try to defuse the bomb that's in Church's stomach. I think you're about the only one here that can do it. And Tex? The one thing I didn't realize before was this. Maybe I'm the last Church not because I fixed everything, but because I died and there's no way I can come back. And if that happens, I just want to let you know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in all this stupid stuff. I'm sorry I wasn't better Do you have time for this? I'm sorry for... As sweet as it is. Well, for a lot of stuff. But if we do survive this, then it's totally because of me, and you should build a fucking statue in my honor. <laughs> I'm serious. Something cool. Like me on a horse. No, 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 wait. A motorcycle. What the hell? Sorry, Private Tucker, but I always get my mind. Say goodbye, mate. Uh, guys, I hate to interrupt, but zero seconds. Uh oh. Church! Oh, what can I tell you, know. dipshit? For better or for worse, I'm back. Okay, so he still failed. We're all gonna die, starting with Grim. Everyone, get ready to kiss your ass goodbye. Simmons, you can have the honor of kissing mine. Hey everybody, what's up? I am so happy that you made it in time to die with me. We will get to be smithereens together. That won't be necessary, Caboose. Hey Gary, how you doing? Not bad. Although my stomach oh. iron salt matrix is a little itchy. The computer can talk? The computer's name is Gary? <laughs> <laughs> Good, thanks for asking. Listen, would you do me a favor? Could you shut off the bomb, please? 
No problem. Wait, what? Carrie, you mean to tell me you could have turned off the bomb this whole time and you didn't say so? And don't say I didn't use it in test. Man, it is really great to see you guys. You seem like you're in a good mood. I learned a very valuable lesson in my travels, Tucker. No matter how bad things might seem, they could be worse. Nope. No matter how bad they seem, they can't be any better, they can't be any worse. Because that's the way things fucking are, and you better get used to it, Nancy. Quit your bitching. Where have you been? You want the long version or the short version? I will take the easy version, please. Oh, I want to hear the long version. But can you <laughs> tell me in three parts? <laughs> oh, wait. Do you mean literally? Like the next three episodes is related to the story? Okay, so apparently all you had to do was ask for the bomb to be diffused. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Um, but Gary mentioned something about Church killing him, didn't he? Uh, maybe that will come into play later somehow. But let's continue to the uh, next episode, number 15, Let's Come to Order. Got this thing where? Right up there. So, you went back in time and didn't change anything. Uh, yeah. I was just like a passive observer. I would have tried to save your life. For me! Yeah, I didn't think of that. Hey, Tucker, I don't think it's a good idea that you're keeping that thing. You're just pissed because you don't have one. No, you must have me confused with Tex. She's been staring at you nonstop since you found that thing. <laughs> That's not true. You haven't taken your eyes off it. Yes, I have. Then why haven't you looked at me the entire time I've been talking? I'm looking at you right now. No, you're not! I've already seen you. Not too impressed. I would have tried to save Tex, too. Did. Well, I didn't, Caboose. I didn't try to save me. I didn't try to save Tex. And I sure as hell didn't make millions of copies of myself trying to keep the bomb from going off. Oh. Because that was my next <laughs> suggestion. Leave me alone, Caboose. I didn't want to mess with the timeline. Time line? <sighs> Time isn't made oh out of God, lines. <laughs> it is made out of circles. Well, that is why clocks are round. Man, that thing is really shiny. Yep. Tucker, man, I still think the computer told me that thing is a very important relic for some ancient culture. I wouldn't go swinging it around like that. Yeah? Well, I think it's just a kick-ass piece of bling. And who are you gonna believe? Me? Or some super smart, stupid talking computer? Probably yeah. the computer, because he's been right so far. So covertly. No problem. I had to move my lunch with the Pope, but uh, he was cool with it. He owes me. I helped him pick the hat. Shut up. I don't want the Blues finding out about this meeting. So I want us all to agree here and now we're gonna keep this between ourselves. Sir, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're not exactly buddy-buddy with those guys anyway. Eh, I'm not really in the market for new friends. I'm not sure that I'm happy with the current crop. No offense, Sarge. Griff, tell us what you discovered on the radio. Me? Um, actually, I'm the one who heard the distress signal. Uh-huh. Well, see, I thought... Yeah, I can't use the radio. Yeah, I discovered the distress signal. That was me. I don't know how I got that mixed up. It's okay, sir. As long as everyone's clear, who heard it first? Sorry about that, Simmons. Why do you care? No, really, sir. It's no problem. I think it's important to get proper credit when some of us are working hard discovering the stress signals on the Warthog's radio while others are hanging out in the back seat monkeying about. <laughs> okay, first off, monkeying about? And secondly, I don't think listening to the radio classifies as working. And thirdly, <laughs> monkeying about? Come on, dude. It's a real phrase. Bullshit. That's what you said about horse doodling. People say okay, it all the time. Horse doodling what is people? made up, but well, monkeying of around all is the time. an actual phrase. Nobody you would know. No need to get upset, fellas. I think we're all clear now. Simmons is the one who heard the distress signal, and Grip was the one monkeying around. About. Say who now? Monkeying about. Yeah, people say it all the time, sir. You'll want to get it right. Otherwise, you'll sound like a jackass. <laughs> Can we please get back to the purpose of this meeting? Yeah, what is the purpose exactly? I wanted Simmons to tell us that he heard a distress signal on the radio. Okay, go ahead, did. Simmons. Um, I heard a distress signal while listening to the radio. I know. I was in the car with you when you heard it. 
In fact, why are we even having this meeting? Everyone here already knows you heard the distress signal on the radio. I just want to make sure everyone is on the same page. Same page? There's only one page. You know what the page says? Simmons <laughs> heard a goddamn distress call okay. on the radio. The end. We oh, get look, it. down there at the bottom, it also says, P.S. Griff was monkeying about. Well, I can see why we don't have lots of meetings. The only person who doesn't know is Donut, and he's not even here. That's because I asked Donut to distract the Blues so we could have this secret meeting. And that's the story of how I saved Christmas. I did not even know the North Pole was in San Francisco. <laughs> this changes everything. Yeah, and I don't think Santa's suit is a leather biker's outfit. Hey, wait a second. Why are we letting this pink guy distract us? I'm not distracting you. Yeah, you are. While we're sitting here jabbering, the Reds are over there monkeying about. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I don't really know what to say about that one. Was that just a filler episode? I'm going to assume that that was just a filler episode because we didn't really learn anything. I guess. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Hello, my name is Andrew. I guess we meet someone new in this, or... See? I have no idea. They're down there, messing with the radio. Oh, so that's what they're doing. Yeah. They must be plotting something. Or maybe they're just listening to the radio. I know plotting when I see it. That's plotting. Maybe they're scheming. No, scheming looks different. That's definitely plotting. They're gonna try plotting and scheming. Why? The same I already thing. told them red and blue are the same. It's all a conspiracy. And I told you that's not true. Vic just made it up to confuse us. That just means he's part of the conspiracy. But he's the one that told you red and blue are the same. Exactly. Wait, are you are you talking about a conspiracy that red and blue are the same? Or a conspiracy that red and blue are different? Exactly. You just keep saying exactly. Do you know <laughs> do you? Look, I don't no, care about red or blue. All I know is that those guys are up to something down there. Maybe they're planning to use the radio to beam secret messages to the fillings in my teeth. Secret messages about what? Exactly. They are probably trying to tune into the distress signal they heard on the radio. What makes you say that? How do you oh, know about I that? I know all the details. They were in their car. The boss hog. When Simmons heard a distress you signal say boss on hog? the radio. And Gruff was in the back seat. With a monkey. <laughs> he got them all I'm gonna go out on a limb here by the wrong that some of that is wrong. How do you know all this, Caboose? Andy told me. Andy? Who's hmm? Andy? Are you, are you Andy? I'm not Andy, I'm Tucker. No, I, I know. What's your first name? Lavernius. Lavernius? What? Who is this Andy? Wait a second. Are you black? Me? Yeah. Does it matter? No. I'm just curious. Well, if it doesn't matter, then why are you curious? I don't know. I guess that's just something I should have picked up on after all this time. You know what else you should have picked up on? My fucking first name! I thought Tucker was his first name. That's all it says. It doesn't even say where or who. We know who it is. It's on the Red Army Open Channel. That means the Reds have survived into the future. Don't you see what this means? <sighs> that we have absolutely no hope of ever getting out of this army. No, it means we must have beaten the Blues. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any Reds left. Finally, victory is ours. Wait a minute. This means I missed the entire war. Oh, damn it. Yeah, it must be great. That's why they sent out a distress signal. Maybe it's not a distress signal. Maybe it's a distress signal. Maybe what? it's an open invitation to some formal ball. Okay, let's go with Sarge's version. Simmons, have you tracked the source? Well, sir, all I can tell is the direction. I have no idea how far it is. Why not? I thought you were our unofficial science officer. That just means I'm smart. If you want me to multiply two big numbers in my head, that I can do. But I can't measure radio signals with no equipment. What's 32 times 56? 31,452. Is that right? Yes. That's pretty impressive. Eh, you know, it's a gift. This is Andy. Andy, this is Tex and Tucker. Uh, the black one is Tex. The bomb? And the other black one is Tucker. Andy's the bomb? Uh, Andy prefers the term explosive American. Are you making fun of me? He told me all about what the Reds are up to. Didn't you, Andy? Yes. Uh, and then we talked about all our adventures. Did you know that he Think used to know Sheila? Caboose has gone insane. Is that right, Andy? Um, Caboose, are you hearing the bomb talk right now? Say something, Andy. You are embarrassing me in front of my friends. Caboose, I think 
think you're losing it. Also, I wouldn't really call us friends. We're more like acquaintances, or people who work with other people they hate. Gary, I need you to tell me some more about the alien race that needs Tucker's sword. I do not know anything about them. You don't know anything about the aliens that programmed you? Correct. Instead, they filled all my memory banks with information about the Great Destroyer and his race. You mean humans? That is not what they call you, but correct. Why? What do they call us? Chisno. That's an insult, isn't it? Perhaps this can best be explained <laughs> in the form of a knock-knock joke. <sighs> What's with you and knock-knock jokes? You are... You are who? You are a dirty, dirty Chisno. <laughs> Alright, what does it mean? What is the most foul-smelling animal on your planet? Um, a skunk. Wait, so Shizno means skunk? Not exactly. Does a skunk defecate? Yes. Does yes. Does a skunk's defecation in turn produce its own excrement? Ew, no! Then what? there's no equivalent for Shizno in your language. Gross. Like you would not believe. Hey, does that bomb ever talk to you? The bomb? No. Never. Yeah, I didn't think so. Andy and I are not on speaking terms right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wait, Andy? Correct. He is kind of a jerk. I'm not the jerk, you're the jerk. Jerk. That was Whoa. very rude. Ah, shut up, you shizno. Okay, then. Apparently the bomb has sentience. That's a little bit strange. And I was not expecting that. I honestly thought Caboose had gone insane, but I guess not. I guess there's AI in almost everything. <laughs> so I guess we'll find out more about Andy in the next episode. Honestly, a talking bomb was the last thing I thought would be in this uh, series. But then again, there have been a lot of twists in the series that I wasn't expecting. Like the whole time traveling thing with Church. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, as well as support my Patreon. All three links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or are you subscribe right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules Reacts, signing off. Talk to you later.